it's being described as the Aam Aadmi Party, that's uh, Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal's party's Rajya Sabha dilemma. All those that they've reached out to for a Rajya Sabha seat have reportedly turned them down. Sonal is now joining us for more on this. Sonal, uh, you of course have the list. You're going to take us through all those who have been reached out to, but for whatever reason have turned it down. But why is nobody agreeing? Why is the AAP finding no takers? Well, perhaps that question best answered by Arvind Kejriwal. Remember, he was once the most talked about political leader in the national capital. But today, he finds very few takers for his three Raj Sabha seats that are up for grabs for Amati Party after they won 67 out of the 70 seats in the Delhi Assembly. Now, one of those reasons being described uh, has been the fact that he has been at constant loggerheads with the centre. Remember, in the past, he also went ahead to call the Prime minister a psychopath so a lot of political differences being said to be the reason behind a lot of people outside his own party saying no for the job well there were two considerations really for the Aam Aadmi party they started out by saying that they want to take up somebody from the social uh, from the civil society some place that they had come from just about three years ago and they wanted to nominate somebody from there but we have a list now of seven people seven prominent people from the civil society who all said no for the job. Let's take a look at that uh, you know, list first. Number one on that list we've reported earlier also is the former RBI governor Raghuram Rajan. He is not in the country. An email was sent to him by the Aam Aadhi Party earlier on but he declined. Also former Union Minister Yashwant Sinha and Arun Shori both have been extremely critical remember of the policies of Narendra Modi government. They were also offered this ticket but reportedly said no. Number three very interesting there on the list. Uh, number four actually very interesting on the list is former CGI T.S. Thakur. Remember T.S. Thakur had quit, in fact uh, let go on a very sour note with the government when it came to the appointment of judges. So he was also looked at by the Aam Aadmi Party but that also could not go through. Number five on the list is the Infosys founder Narayan Murthy. Number six, Nobel laureate Kailash Satyarthi and also interestingly, industrialist Sunil Munjal. All of them were offered positions as part of the uh, uh, Aam Aadmi Party's Raj Sabha seat, but they all reportedly have said no. So who is being considered really by Aam Aadmi Party? Remember, Jan 5th is the last day of filing of nomination. Final election happens on the 12th. And so far, it seems Aam Aadmi Party is, has nobody on the list so far. Internally within the party, Kumar Vishwas, a co-founder of the party, somebody who has a lot, uh, you know, lost his Vishwas, so to say, no confidence with the chief. Interestingly, some 50 of his supporters just this week camped inside the headquarters of the Aam Aadmi Party, asking and pushing for his name to go for Raj Sabha. We are being told by party insiders and sources that he will not be picked up, especially after that alleged coup he planned to take over the party and become the party chief in instead of Kejriwal. Apart from that, two other names that we, in fact, three other names that we are looking at. One is of Sanjay Singh, another party person. Another is of Ashutosh, former journalist, now a very prominent leader of the party. And the third, and this is really interesting, we are getting to hear from sources that Arvind Kejriwal could well go ahead and nominate himself. This, remember, from a person who's been very, very impatient of getting into active national politics, Will Rajya Sabha be his ticket to that? We'll have to wait and watch. What we are hearing for now is there will be a PSC, which is the Political Affairs Committee meeting in the first week of January to take the final call. But for now, it looks like no outsiders, but it could well be an insider. And will it be Arvind Kejriwal himself in Rajya Sabha?